This poem is not about Jewish people or about Judaism, nor is it about some bullshit fantasy of an international Jewish banking conspiracy. This poem is about Israel. Veni, veni, Emmanuel, Captivum salvet Israel. Blame it on the Nazis. Blame it on the ovens that burned even the survivors. Palestinians are the second victims. Jews, again, the third. It's like child abuse, we tell ourselves, trying to make sense of the monstrous monstrosities that leap up out of the front pages every morning. How can this be? Not you. Not you of all nations. Israel. Nothing makes me hate my own country more than what it has done to you, turned you into its whore, armed you and set you loose among its enemies, psychotic, warped and twisted child abuser grown up out of your own terrible abuse. But no frail and broken-hearted innocent, no strong, with the heart of stone, nourished on the red, white and blue vein. I stare with hatred into the whorehouse window at the jewel-encrusted pimp's hand that caresses your blood-stained cheeks. I hear the wail of dying children. Your laughter freezes my heart. The Midas touch. I loved you so much. What if you were living in a science fiction world and your skies were filled with alien machines? If alien beings ruled the earth? What if when you fought back with sticks and stones the machines would slaughter you? But when you hid, they would come for your children. What if you were living in a science fiction world with alien beings and their killing machines and the only possibility of resistance, the only means of causing pain for pain? What if the only aliens you could touch were the alien children? And what if the alien children were as innocent and sweet as your own?